This is Kaylee Humphreys. The 28-year-old Canadian is the star of Women's Bobsleigh. She's won back-to-back -back world championships, recently secured a second straight World Cup title and is in Sochi as the defending champion. Bobsleigh is a, a boys club. It is very much a male-dominated sport, um, but I think that's part of why I like it. I never really fit in. As much as I try and as much as I love, I love the girly girly things. Deep down inside, I can only do that for so long as well. And so I pick and choose what I like from both worlds. I've got, you know, the, the man, butch, harsh, um, intense world, and then I've got my girly girly world as well. As a child growing up in Calgary, Kaylee always dreamed of Olympic glory, but imagined that it might come in skiing. Aged 16, however, and with her skiing career stalling, Kaylee turned to bobsleigh. Possessing a naturally powerful build and an athleticism honed by her skiing days, bobsleigh proved to be the perfect fit for Kaylee. Immediately at home on the ice, she was selected for the national squad at 18. On making the Canadian team, she and her parents all got matching maple leaf tattoos, fulfilling a bet that Kaylee had made with them about her one day representing her country. We definitely do train all elements in our sport. Um, we train like Olympic sprinters train, and we train like Olympic weightlifters. We're kind of all encompassing right in the middle. You gotta be strong, you gotta be powerful, but you gotta be able to be explosive with that, and you have to be fast. And so generally, um, to be a good bobsledder, I mean, it takes a lot of different aspects. Unlike the men who compete in both two- and four-man disciplines, women's bobsleigh is restricted to the two-woman format. Each team consists of a pilot who steers the sled around the track and a brakeman. Like most new recruits, Kaylee started her career on the brakes, but quickly progressed to front of house. I know what it's like to be at the back, and yeah, it's, it's not as glamorous, and you don't get as much credit, but at the end of the day, it does take two people to push it, and my responsibilities definitely go farther than just pushing and getting in. At the same time, you know, I, I can't win without somebody else, and she can't win without me. So it's, it's a team sport, it's a team effort, and... Um, I've got a few more responsibilities, but that doesn't make my job any more important. Shortly after that victory in Vancouver, an injury Moyes suffered while representing her country in rugby union forced Kelly to look at other options for her brakeman. Heather Hughes, Emily Badswick and Jennifer Cacchetti all filled the role at one time or another, and last season it was the turn of fellow Calgary native Chelsea Valois. It was really interesting to find out a little bit about Kaylee and we spent about five months on tour together so I got to see all different sides of her and she does have a really strong personality, really intimidating when I first met her but right away she came up to me and she was really personable, really interesting and she made me feel comfortable right from the start. You know I'm now the veteran, I've been doing the sport for 10 years, it's, it's a very different world and, and role to live and especially with Brakeman it's the same thing last year taking on the challenge of Chelsea of her being brand new, brand new in this sport. And that wasn't the first time I'd been with somebody brand new. Um, and you just learn. And so I, I take it step by step. I learn sometimes super easy and I'm able to pull from other people. Sometimes, you know, you make mistakes along the way, but that's anybody and that's part of the fun. Kaylee has not allowed the frequent changes of partner to affect her dominance of the sport. After a steady 2011, she won her first World Championship a year later in Lake Placid, alongside Badsvik. In 2013, she went one better with Chelsea, completing the double of World Championship and overall World Cup titles. I think Kaylee and I did so well this year because we have the same work ethic. We push ourselves to the limit and we'll do anything to become the best that we can be and I learned a lot from her I mean I didn't know anything but she took me under her wing and 
been a great help to my team as well. I mean, we got a lot of support from our coaches, you know, family and teammates, so it, was, it all worked out well. As the eldest of three sisters, Kaylee's family play a huge role in her life away from the ice. With the travel involved during the season, it helps that her husband, Dan, is also an international bobsledder. Just as important to Kaylee, though, is finding the time to spend back home with her mother, Cheryl, sisters, Shelby and Jordan, and not to mention her young niece, Hayes. And I'm able to come and just clear my mind and give all of my energy and love and everything into something completely different, and I get something back from that. And that allows me a break and a reprieve from my mind and Sochi and the games and the team and the stress and the pressure and the all of the above. So that's that life balance. While the respite is well earned, Kaylee is now fully focused on the Olympic Games in Sochi. Having recently secured another World Cup Series crown, she's in impressive form and unlike four years ago, goes into the Games as the clear favourite for gold. 35-year-old Moyes returned as her brakeman at the start of this season and the pair are hoping to prove that there's no substitute for experience. This Olympic cycle is completely different to the last, not just for location and not being at a home track, but having the different roles instead of being the new rookie up and coming. I expect to go and win in Sochi. And I'm training, planning and preparing in order for that to happen. Um, I'm putting everything I have into it and I expect nothing less.